I don't know. It, to me, it's weird because like, th like this part right here is completely unnecessary. Whatever we're doing right now, like, we don't need to do it. <laughs> Which I know is weird because it's like, then why am I here? But like, still. Like, I mean, there's skull shells I have to get. I think one still I have to get in here. Wait, there's another one? Oh, I know where he is. He's probably down there. Um... Ooh, nice landing, Mike. Nice landing. Let me try this again. Oh, whatever. Get rid of you first. Okay. So I think the secret switch. Uh, before I go down there, though, wait, did the switch undo itself? I don't think so. Uh, so hold on, let me check this really quick. Okay. It's in here. There we go. We still have one more, but I know where it is. It's in that one area with the Flare Dancer. Or not... well... Here. We're, we're in the right place. We're good. We're good. Okay, I just have to make it over to... Let's see... This. This is what I need to do. Actually, wait a minute. There's no way I can get there, is there? There isn't. But! Because I always forget it for some reason. not working. There we go. So yeah, notice how, um, yeah, that disappeared over there. And this will allow us to jump over the fire. <laughs> jump over the fire. Fatal kiss. Here's all we need. What? That didn't work. <laughs> uh, maybe, oh. I think, maybe I'm just supposed to go in here. <laughs> I thought there was, like, supposed to be some kind of, like, bombable wall or something, but... Nope, I guess not. Heat hammer, jerk. And there we go. That should be it for Sculptulas. It is. Perfect. Uh, so there is another chest that I don't know how to get. It's in the room with the Lysifols and what used to be the uh, rolling boulder room. I don't think I'm going to worry about that because I don't need it to progress through the dungeon. And if I don't, then like, why even worry about it? It's probably like rupees or bombs or something. So we can go fight the boss of the dungeon now. Uh, how long has this recording been? It's been an hour. Why? Oh my god. Okay. Do I have to have that block in view? I 
Maybe. But yeah, this recording took over an hour, but at the same time, I feel like there was more I cut here than I did in the forest temple. Or rather, there is more I could cut anyway. So, oh, no, they're, they're probably about the same length. So probably like two weekend videos could wrap up the whole thing, which is pretty, pretty solid, I think. Uh, where am I going? I don't want to go in the door. I just want to jump down in the middle here. Okay, here we go, guys. Boss number two of Adult Link. Let's see how Volvagia looks in this in this game. Well, it sucks to be that platform. <laughs> okay. Bam 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 bam. Looks pretty cool. I mean, that's pretty much what he looks like in the original game. I remember this was a battle that I tried uh, watching in 3D. Because, you know, 3DS, the whole gimmick was that 3D function and whatnot. And I remember, like, actually watching this battle in the 3D. It actually looked pretty sweet, honestly. Okay. So I'm going to try the trick here. It's not really working though. Oh well. Still kind of early. Okay, this is the rock cycle. This is the I don't care what Volkvegia thinks of me. Probably thinks I'm a pansy for doing that, but I don't really care. Probably one more jump slash and do it. <laughs> well, Link's not around. Let's go back in. <laughs> kind of what Volvagi is probably thinking. Got him! Alright! Fire Temple is done! Another one bites the dust, you could say. And just for fun... I don't know its weak point. Well, you don't need to because it's dead. There we go. Okay, that's going to do it for the Fire Temple. Two temples done, three to go. Uh, but don't think that it's just three more dungeons left because there's a lot of other dungeons in this game. In fact, before we get to the next dungeon, the Water Temple, there's uh, actually a mini dungeon, if you remember right. And from my recollection, they do change it up, so... That's where we're going to go next. We're going to check out the ice cavern. So I will see you guys there. 
Navi, it's cold outside. Look at that snow. Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3DS Master Quest Dungeons playthrough. Uh, so yes, uh, before we get to the next temple, we actually do have a, uh, another dungeon. It's not a very long dungeon, this will not take a whole video, but it is still a dungeon. So, uh, yeah, we have the Ice Cavern. As you can see, it is different. Uh, they have rolling rocks, which it did not have beforehand. It has tech types, which it definitely did not have beforehand. And, uh, yeah, so this is not going to be uh, familiar. This is not going to be familiar to us at all, and we really have to kind of just watch what we're doing here, because... Uh, who knows what we'll find in this uh, mini-dungeon. Uh, but yeah, this wasn't actually much longer from when I stopped the last recording. I just went straight to uh, Zora's Fountain. I'm like, well, I'm here. Let's go ahead and do this dungeon, too. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably also going to do the Water Temple, too, honestly. I might take a little break before I do that. But, uh, yeah, I'm on a roll. Might as well keep that roll going, honestly. If I can do four dungeons in one day, that'd be pretty nice. So yeah, I did, I've done uh, Forest Temple, Fire Temple, Ice Cavern, and I will be doing Water Temple as well. I'm only trying to get through this as quickly as possible. Because, I mean, yeah, I have to play through the whole game, but like I don't have to do all like all the little extra stuff like in between all the dungeons, so that's what's making this go a lot faster. It's, Ocarina of Time is really not that long of a game. It just kind of feels long, because when you were younger, you, like, you wanted to investigate everything, so it became longer of a game as a result. I've also freed all the fairies I had in my possession, because uh, I will need the bottles for this area, because of the red ice, blue fire thing. It's kind of annoying that we have to do it that way, but uh, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Am I even going the right way? Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, yeah, here's the blue fire right here. Also, I have to say, I do like the design of this dungeon, like, compared to the original. I think this does, honestly, look nicer. I mean, it's hard to do ice and snow wrong. I'm not saying it was wrong in the original, but I don't know. I think the update and graphical quality does make this place look uh, a lot more beautiful. Come on. Uh. Ah, oh, Wolfos. You can definitely live without them, but they're here to stay anyway. What is this little pedestal? This looks intriguing. Very, very intriguing. I think there's also a sculpture in here, too. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. Oh, well, there's some kind of spider in here. Not a sculptula, but a, a spider nonetheless. Okay, well, let's get the bottles out. I probably won't need um, my tools that much in this dungeon. Yes, I know about blue fire. third one. Yeah, I don't have the fourth bottle. I could have uh, gotten a fourth bottle, but I didn't, really didn't want to do that post-side quest, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Really didn't feel like doing that, so I was like, you know what? I won't do that. So what do we got in here? Map Compass, map. You love a good map. You do. Okay, blue fire, got that. Let's see. I think we're done with this room. Let's go back to the first room. So, like in the original Ice Cavern, there are three pieces of heart and. Or, no, three sculptures and one piece of heart. Ugh! Three pieces of heart, that'd be very... That'd be intense. That's a lot of pieces of heart for one dungeon. 
Shoot. Rolling rocks, why? Why must you do that? Uh-oh. Okay. Kind of want to get rid of these keys before I do anything. They're kind of out of the way, aren't they? Maybe they'll come close. What the hell? <laughs> nice pedestal you have there, Wolfie. See any other? That is the only thing. Okay. Also, look, there's a sculpture down there. Interesting. Let's go ahead and red fire. Or blue fire, red eyes, this thing over here. Uh, that's okay. I don't think I need to melt that. I think we actually have uh, two sculptures in this one room. So, uh... Oh, yep, there we go. Right there, actually. I think this gets rid of the ice that's... covering that. So I'll go ahead and take that Skulltula out from under you. And I believe over here... we got to play our good old Raxy Laxy song. <laughs> That'll create Pierre, so we can go up here. Why do I feel like we're almost done already? <laughs> oh my god, because we are! Like, that's the thing. Like, there's not a lot to this dungeon. Oh, oh okay. Well, that guy's just dead. Okay, I think... Um, yeah, I think this is a Song of Time. So if we want to get more blue fire, we can. I think I'm going to do that. I think there's a ice piece right above me. And I think if I want to make that thing appear again, I just have to hit this again. Okay, I didn't, I didn't block myself out. That would have been really bad if I did, but I, I figured I was fine. So I'm going, kind of going towards the end of this dungeon right now. But I think that's okay. We can do that. Oh, Scalfos instead of the White Wolfos. Honestly, I'm glad they did put, like, more Scalfos in sections like these. Because Stalfos probably are, like, the most difficult enemies. I say that as I just completely trounce that Stalfos, but, uh, still, like, I don't think they're really, uh, used a lot in not during that time. And they can be pretty intimidating, because they take away so much damage. So naturally, this is going to be our good old Iron Boots, which we need to access the next dungeon. But, just for fun... Let's take a look at Sheik and what she has to say. Probably stuff about water and temples and things of those connections. I also really like Sheik's design in this game. I think with this design you can kind of like... tell that Sheik is more likely to be a female looks more gentler. I don't know, you, you could say that's also a bad thing because they could have ruined Sheik's image, but I don't know, I like this design of Sheik. I think it, I think she looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna spoil anything, even though we've played this game, we know the spoiler, but uh, just in case people decide to watch this first for some reason. Yes, Sheik's a girl. That's that's the only spoiler I'll give, I guess. So here we have the Serenade of Water, which we'll use to get to the Water Temple. But we're not going to go there just yet, because uh, we have like 5% of this dungeon left. Seriously, how freaking short is this? I've only been recording for 10 minutes. <laughs> this was so short. 
so yeah, uh, in this game, Iron Boots, uh, they're actually an item. Uh, they're not part of your gear, so you can take them off at your own leisure. Which, honestly, I do like that. I think this is a better implementation of the Iron Boots. Fight Me IRL, I think it works a lot better than what they do in Ocarina of Time. I know people are probably used to all the switching you have to do in that game, and to that, more power to them, but like... No, I think it's I think it's utilized better here. It's, it's utilized in the way it should be utilized. You should be able to take them off instead of putting your old boots back on. Like, I'm sorry, that's... It may not make sense in a traditional format, but in a video game format... They should, it should have been that way. Of course, this means that we'll also get an item for the hover boots, too. But honestly, that's not too bad, either. It's like, whatever. I, I think it works. I think it works very, very well. And I'm happy for the game for doing that. Okay, so we have one more room left. I think the last Skulltula is here, along with the piece of heart. In fact, yes, I see the uh, piece of heart over here. Oh, shoot. This isn't going to work. Nope, it's not. <laughs> it's okay, Link. You tried. You tried your best. Your best wasn't good enough, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, so let me actually grab a better item out. I don't need the iron boots for the rest of this dungeon, though, so I can put them away, probably. Really? I have to use... Okay, well, whatever. Game will be a game, I guess. Oh, this will be interesting. How am I going to get to that Skulltula? How am I going to get to that Skulltula? Well, first, compass. Don't really need it, though. I mean... <laughs> pretty good for the rest of this. There's got to be a switch around here that I can't see. I see it. It's down there. Uh, okay, I'll get that in a minute. Yeah, there is going to be a Song of Time puzzle. Because, you know, this is Master Quest. <laughs> That's just something that this game does, as we're now fully aware of. Okay, so... Guess we gotta do it again. Seems like such a convoluted process, though. And I think we have one bottle of blue fire left for uh, King Zora, too, so this is going to end perfectly. Yeah, I feel like the blue fire switching is not as bad in this game as it was in the original. It's not that bad in that game, either, because they give you plenty of rooms that have it, but when you're younger, you probably don't think about it as much. Um, so, yeah, there's uh, the switch underground. You can barely see it, but it's definitely there. I didn't get it. Maybe I have to use bombs. Yep. And that is how we get the piece of heart. That's the one piece of heart that actually changes in this game. Because it's the only one that's in kind of a dungeon area like this. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for the Ice Cavern. We are done already. Uh, not even 15 minutes in. We're already done with this. Uh, but that's good, that's good, because next uh, we can start probably the most interesting of the uh, Master Quest dungeons, uh, because we are going to the Water Temple, and uh, you know how notorious the Water Temple is in the original Ocarina of Time. What's it going to be like in this game? Well, let's find out. See you guys there. Reunited and it feels so good. Got my blue tunic like I know that I should. 
Hey guys, welcome back to more of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest Dungeon playthrough on the 3DS, nonetheless. And uh, today we are going to start the one, the only, the Water Temple. Now, here's the thing about the Water Temple. Um, even though I think that the Water Temple isn't as hard as, you know, you initially think it is when you first play it, in the original Ocarina of Time. It, it's still fairly challenging. You still have to kind of like figure your way around and solve puzzles and stuff. So, I mean, it's still challenging in its own right. You have to give it credit for that. In Master Quest, honestly, this might be the easiest dungeon in the game. Like, all that complexity that the Water Temple originally had, I just don't think that exists in this version. And, uh... Hello... Zora Princess, how are you today? Oh. <laughs> well, I kind of just phased right into her body, I guess. Wait, wait, how am I there? <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. Her kingdom is frozen in ice, as we saw earlier. You guys didn't see it, but, uh, take my word for it, the Zoras are frozen. <laughs> And now we have to uh, figure out a way to save them, because uh, fish people are people too, apparently. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I've never tried that before. Actually, that torch probably isn't there in the original version. That's probably why. No, it would have to be, because how would you light those torches, then? Whatever, we'll figure it out, I guess. Uh, but yeah, like I feel like a lot of the challenge... Well, maybe not necessarily the challenge, but just... This dungeon just seems like it's easier in this version than it is in normal Ocarina of Time. And I always found that weird. But, I mean, it really helps that you can, like, do a lot of this. Let's see what this says. Is there something unusual here? Well, yes. Uh, probably. Doesn't seem to be a key in here this time. But, yeah, like, just having, like, a shortcut for your iron boots is really, really nice. Like, that really does give this a lot more playability, like a lot less annoyance. And like, it's cool that they actually show you like, okay, this will actually raise the water to its lowest point, so. It's, it's nice, it's nice in its own way. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna see what this temple's all about. I, I mean, I could still essentially get lost. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deny that possibility because um, I'm just a giant doof in that right, and stuff like that just seems to happen to me. Like, I probably should have investigated some of those other areas before I came up here, to be quite honest. But, um, it is what it is. I've made my bed, and thus, I will now lie in that said bed. But first, let's see what's in this room. Okay, oh, it's one of these things. Wait, why is there only one, though? Oh. <laughs> Oh, that, that explains why there's only one, because Lizifols and other enemies were in here. Okay, this is going to be the map. It's got to be the map. You love that map. Map would kind of help us kind of get started here. Oh. <laughs> I mean, Compass helps, too. Compass does help, too. I'm not going to... I'm not going to discount the Compass at all. But, um, I really thought that was going to be the map. I'm going to be quite honest with you. I actually was really looking forward to having that map, but now it's just like my entire world is turned upside down. Also, all these areas are kind of blocked off. But, like, they definitely had, like, they definitely had their own, like, ideas for this place. And making it different for the Master Quest. It just ended up that the ideas weren't as complicated as the original uh, Water Temple complexities. Which does make this probably a lot easier than it needs to be. But I mean, I'm not complaining. Like, again, I'm definitely not 